Hey everybody, it's your boy Brett here, and today I'm going to be talking about my most recent project called Goku Destroys the Death Star, as you can see right here. Um, my original intent for this project was to add special effects to my sprite animations. It's been a while since I've actually created a full sprite animation like this, um, let alone have any special effects in it whatsoever. Um, just to give you an example, I don't know if you can hear the sound, but you have the camera shake as shown right there around the three second mark. And then you have a glowing ball of energy growing in Goku's hands, and these are all effects added in by Adobe After Effects, which is the application I used to add in these special effects. Um, I'm going to be going in detail over the certain steps that you have to take in order to make this animation possible. So, with that in mind, let's go ahead and go to the first step, which is using Adobe Photoshop. With sprites like these, you have to cut them out and animate the body parts one after the other. The, you don't draw them yourself, they're ripped from games or created by different content creators. Um, as you can see, this one was ripped by Crazy Ivan. Kind of a unique name. <clears throat> uh, as you can see right here, you got a walking animation all throughout here. You can animate it to uh, have the Stormtrooper walking, look like he's walking forwards. And that's just a small part of what I had to do. I had to do that with the Stormtrooper, I had to do that with Goku, and I had to cut out backgrounds from... Um, a sprite set of sprite sheets I got from I think a PS3 game and what you do with these uh, sprites once you cut them out is that's a chair they're kinda of small I don't know if you can see them for example here's a stormtrooper torso I cut out right over here here's the arm I accidentally opened it here's the shoulder Here's the second head movement and so on and so forth. What I did with this project was I actually managed to cut out individual body pieces and animate them separately, which is also a first for me. And I am very pleased with how it all turned out. So as you can see, uh, with Adobe Flash, you got the layers and the keyframes and yada 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 frames all over here. You got the animation right there. Um, the different layers represent different body parts. So for example, there's the torso, there's the head, there's the shoulder, um, I think this might be the coffee cup or the arm, I think this is the coffee cup. Yes, and then the arm is the very top one, as shown right there. It was very interesting animating these body parts piece by piece. Of course, I didn't really do this with Goku right here. Uh, if you also notice, there are no special effects in here, like no camera shake, no ball growing in Goku's hand right here, or anything like that. And I have a movie just straight from the Flash animation. You have Goku right here, and there's absolutely no camera shake or ball of glowing energy right here. So that's when you put you put the video into Adobe After Effects. Now, being my first time using Adobe After Effects, I was very confused when I first opened this up. I didn't know what any of this stuff meant. I'm like, oh, what's this? What's this? What's this? Uh, but with time, I learned that um, down here is like Flash. Here would go the layers, and here would be essentially the frames. Uh, which you can modify and enter in keyframes. Um, over here would be the effect controls, which you would use to, surprise, surprise, control your effects or modify how they look. The composition is pretty much your stage and what you're looking at. A composition can range anything from a clip from a movie you're editing to um, editing a ball of energy and having it um, give it organic movement and seeing how it looks and all that. Let's open the body of my main project. It might take a few seconds here. Uh, so as you can see, this uh, it's, it looks pretty beefy compared to the empty um, new project. 
Um, I have plenty of layers here. Got plenty of adjustment layers and the movie layers down here. The ball of energy layers. Um, right here, I was able to add in camera shake using the slider tool and the offset uh, the offset commands. With this, as you can see right here, it's selected because I'm on that layer. Um, if I go back to the adjustment layer, you can see the ball of energy glowing right here. And it keeps on growing, and I was able to control that as it grew. And I could cha also change that into a beam of energy, also called the Kamehameha, um, using this program. And I learned that there are so many possibilities. I actually, I watched a tutorial on how to, you know, create a shape layer and then use glow effects and everything on it. Um, but really, after seeing that, the rest of this is pretty much my own inspiration and creation. So, for example, I used a beam effect right here instead of downloading an online um, Kamehameha effect, which has a bunch of particles spewing forth and stuff. Um, instead, I kind of made it my own creation, which I'm pretty happy about. Also, I'll put a link to my final project in the description. It'll actually... Uh, link back to my other channel. So that is the, I believe, third stage going from Photoshop to Flash to um, Adobe After Effects. However, when you export it out, I didn't put enough time into it to where I could um, remove the beam and everything. See, while it has a transition right here, you still have the beam and that's not really something you want. Um, <clears throat> so I had to use Final Cut Pro, which was, it's basically like iMovie, but a lot better. Take my word for it. Uh, I used it to put sound into the animation while piecing together different parts of it. So for example, this portion right here is from the Adobe After Effects render, because it has all the special effects. This part right here is just straight from the Flash animation, because it doesn't have any of, of the effects in there. Right here, straight from the Flash animation. This render right here is from the Adobe render, because it has a special effect right here. And this part is with the Adobe render, because it has the beam coming through and destroying the Death Star. With my project, I feel like it turned out pretty well, especially for it being my first time with Adobe After Effects and even trying some new things on Adobe Flash, such as animating individual body parts um, to, cr to create a whole moving body. Um, um, I have not much to say there, really. I just feel like it went well, and I'm looking forward to experimenting with Adobe After Effects in the future. See you guys later.